one design to rule them all. Stick around, I'll show you what that means. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Claudio. So glad that you're here. If this is your first time visiting, I appreciate you coming by. And for my returning friends, thank you once again. One design to rule them all. What do I mean by that? It is a Lord of the Rings reference. If you've ever seen that, you know what I'm talking about. And what I wanna share with you today is how I'm going to be using Adobe Spark to create one design for my social media platform and then replicate that design or duplicate it for all my other social media platforms. So really I'm going to just create one design and from that one design, I can share them to all the others. So that's where I mean one design to rule them all. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Here I am at spark.adobe.com. I'm going to start by clicking on the blue plus sign and start a custom size graphic. I'm going to choose a social post. I'm going to go with the Instagram portrait. Remember, this is one design to rule them all. And I'm going to replicate it for other social media platforms. Let's go ahead and click next. And we're going to get the blank canvas. And I'm going to start by adding a color background here. I'm going to choose one of my brand colors. And from here, I'm also going to add a photo. Now, if you are a Creative Cloud user, you can attach, or I should say, access your images from Lightroom right here. And that's what I'm going to do. I have some images that I use for my social media content. So I'm going to go ahead and locate that folder down here somewhere, social media, promo images. And I'm going to import this image that I'm going to be using for my sample here. This is the one design that I'm going to be replicating for other ones again. So let's go ahead, it's down here towards the bottom. Go ahead and find that should be coming up right there so we're going to bring that one in and i'm going to just make it a little bit larger so you can see now i need to remove this area around my image so we will use the remove background tool here adobe sensei is the artificial intelligence here that is running that in the background pretty much it's done solid job i'm going to click on done and i'm going to move that to the corner just because that's the way the image is maybe size it down just a tad bit here now i'm going to add some assets here such as my logo i'm going to bring that in i'm going to use my primary logo i'm going to add that first of all let me minimize it or shrink it down a bit i'm going to be using that for my brand i'm just going to resize my photo i should say move my photo a little bit here and bring that right there and one thing that I'm going to recommend here is to group these two together and you'll see here in a bit if you don't group them when you resize or duplicate the project the logo tends to jump back to its original size so that kind of helps maintain the size so that's a little tip there uh, group your photo and logo together to help you kind of manage that now the next thing is to add some text and because I'm going to be creating something that I'm going to be sharing for my social media, I'm going to add my handle, which is pretty much standard across all my social media platforms. I highly recommend you do that. It's just consistent. It's easy for users or followers or your clients to find you. And I'm going to go to one of my brand, or I should say one of the Adobe fonts that I downloaded. My brand ones are at the top, but I have added additional ones from Adobe fonts. I'm going to go locate that. This is it here, industry. And let me go down just a tad bit, trying to find the right one. And I think I'm going to use medium here. We're going to resize that. And it's going to be added towards the bottom here. So if you're creating something, maybe a promo or a message for your audience, this is great. Again, you want to add your handle. And now that I see that, I'm going to resize this just a tad bit and move it to that corner. We'll, we'll see, we might need to make some additional adjustments. And uh, I'm going to touch my logo there and just move it a little bit, which is great. Even though it's grouped, you can still do that. Really cool trick there. All right, next thing is we're going to add an additional text and we're going to add a message. So I'm going to go with this play on 
that phrase that I mentioned earlier, one design to rule them all. And I'm going to align left and I'm going to go with the same font, but I'm going to choose a more bold approach to that. So let's go ahead and find that industry. There it is. There's bold italics. I think I'll go with that one. One of the cool thing is because the way I took this picture, let's get that, there we go. The way, the way I took this picture is facing, you know, in that direction, purposely did that so that whenever I create content like this, I have space to add, you know, I could create a white space. So that's kind of a little design tip. I'm going to grab this text and minimize that spacing, bring that down some. So there it is. One design to rule them all. Maybe make my handle just a little smaller and align that right there. Perfect. And there we go. So now I've got this design. So this is IG story, actually not story, IG post. And uh, I believe this is four by five. All right, so I've got that design done. Now, there's several things you can do. You can create a template from this or you can duplicate it and redo it or resize it. So, or the other option is you can go ahead and download it now. So I've got it downloaded. Make sure you choose solid and you can go and resize it now. But I want to keep this intact. So I want to show you what you can do with this one design. So let's go ahead and go to projects. We're going to go back to projects. Let's go ahead and close that there. And here's one other tip that I'm going to show you before I actually do that. I'm going to create a folder, which is in the projects button over here on the left. And this is going to be a way to stay organized. So we're going to call this one design. And let's say you're creating promotional content for your social media, maybe a promo, maybe you're selling a product or you're promoting something. You can create a folder to keep all those designs for that one promo in one folder and stay organized. I highly recommend doing this. So we're going to create this folder. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move that one project into the folder that I just created. So I can do this, click on that ellipse there and choose move and move it to the folder or I can drag it to the folder which is up here at the top one design. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to drag it. Just let me scroll down a bit here, grab this and move it to the top. And there it is. One design. We'll drop it in there and we'll wait for it. We got the notification. It has been moved. So now I can click into this folder and see the original one that I just created and check this out. Now what I'll do is click on the ellipse there and duplicate this project. Now that's called IG45. Now I can say IG, let's go one by one, which is your square. And so we'll let that happen there. So there's the one by one. So now let's go ahead and click in here and we're going to resize this to the one by one. We'll go over here, resize, scroll up a bit. There it is, 1080 by 1080. It's free design and notice, remember the logo I mentioned, it maintains the size. So I can go ahead and adjust this, probably make this a little bigger so it can fit that square. And then we'll click on my logo here and just move that back down. Everything here looks pretty good. Maybe just move it up a tad bit and we'll move my handle here to the left, ready to go. I'll go ahead and click download solid and right like that, I've already created a duplicate of this project in a different size. I'll go back to projects. Now I can go back to the one design folder. I have both of those projects in there and I can repeat the process. As I mentioned, here's a one by one, four by five. If I click here, I can duplicate it. And if I already know the size, maybe I want to say IG story, which your story is a, I believe it's 16 by nine. Duplicate and again, repeat the process. So we'll go ahead and jump one more. We'll go in here, 
and we'll wait for this to refresh. And as I mentioned, we'll go resize. There it is, Instagram story. Then all I need to do is just make some adjustments to my picture here and to my handle. Maybe I'll bring this one up a little bit here. We'll play a little bit more with these words here. Move that up like that. And there we go. So now I've got these 16 by nine. And I, again, repeat the process. If I want to go with a different size, again, I'll go back to the folder. I'll duplicate and then I'll come back in here. So let's say I wanted to go with an Instagram landscape. Well, there it is, different look. We'll resize my picture, move it to the corner and the logo, and we'll continue with making adjustments to all the text. Now this is gonna be a little bit different. It's formatted, so there we go. Make it a little bit larger. So you get the idea? I'll do this until I've completed all the different designs for all my different social media channels using this one design to rule them all. I hope this video was helpful in helping you create one design that you can share across all your social media platforms. If you have any comments or questions regarding this video, please do share it in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell to be notified for future videos, and please do share this video with others. Thank you for stopping by, and as always, be good to win another. Peace.